Hello, welcome back. Uh, it's is it June sixteenth? I think it is today. I, yeah. Is it? I have. I really can't. Remember. I think it's June sixteenth. Anyways, welcome to another vlog. I'm taking you out today to show you all the stuff in Bristol, all the stores. We're gonna go into the mall area and uh, kind of show you this place up here a little bit as well. Here, it's a really like, basic room, like uh, you know, this type of attic based room like this. Uh, not much really in general here, so. Um, I'm just gonna kind of show you downstairs more, so it's pretty small up this way here. I can't see anything. I wish there was a functionality like pause the recording on this. I'm going down the stairs and I'm gonna show you like what I'm talking about in a second. It's kind of dangerous here, just like that type of staircase. Whoa, <sighs> careful. Um, yeah, one of those spiral staircases. Oh, my hair today is just fabulous. Uh, Okay, here's the place, basically. Can I see that? Hey, there we go. Looking outside there. Okay, come back to me. There we go. Oh, we have... It's just a house, really. I don't know. They got this painting here or something with, like, uh... uh resistir... Uh, no, resistir no es aguentar. Which means resisting is not waiting or holding on. I don't know, I'm not sure about the last word. I need to study more Spanish, but my hair is so crazy today. Uh, yeah, just like, you know, we have, have a basic place. It's not the best. The floors are definitely like not ideal, but it works for now. They're getting out of this place and getting a new place. This other new place they're going to be putting up on the passing and such. And it's extremely, like, much better than this. It's so, so cool. So, it's got, uh, there's Django, the 13-year-old. Fat cat. He's <laughs> pretty fat out there, just like chilling there, looking around. Oh, what else we got here? We have uh, the piano as usual, and uh, a mat over here for their their things they do. We need to change that. They like to like, just go in one spot for some reason, just like piss in one spot. I don't know why. Not gonna show that, probably because it's gross. But I uh, have my water. I got. I had to take ooh, two. I can't speak. I had to take two Uber trips to get this because apparently it was too much for one. I never had that happen in my life, but two guys ended up coming, one uh, and then the second one five minutes later. They stop uh, somewhere down this street, over down that way a little bit, I have to walk, because um, like, it's getting convenient for them here, I guess. So that's basically it almost. I'm just, uh, they, they didn't leave too much to eat in the fridge, really, but uh, down this way here, we have the, all the way down the stairs going outside there. There are cats litter there. And in here is, oh, can you see? Oh, they were sleeping last night. And I actually turned on the wrong light on them because they were sleeping in this room. They gave us one upstairs. And I turned on this one. I thought it would be this one, right? Because it's closer to the bathroom in a way. Like This one's closer to the bedroom. I thought it'd be this one for the bathroom. But no, it's for their bedroom. I turned on their light while they were sleeping accidentally. Now I'm gonna turn on this one. And yeah, they said we're kind of like uh, re renovating and stuff like that. So yeah, it's like, uh, it's it's definitely not, not too ideal here at all. So that's uh, about it basically. It's pretty, pretty small, extremely like, but the, oh, hello, I can see in the mirror. Yeah, it's not, not like uh, too ideal at all. <laughs> I can see in the mirror what I'm doing, it's funny. Okay, so. Coming out with me here, we got uh, the two doggos here. Everyone's female, I believe, by the way. Everyone's female here. So you got the black one there is Indy. And they're, they were, like, I guess their leg got hurt and they, like, broke for, like, a few months. They couldn't have a time to adjust and grow up more. I think it used to people, so they always have issues barking a lot and are scared. And you have Moosh, which is the white one over there, black and white, one more. Very friendly, very amazing, very like chilled out and cool and everything. And uh, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. In fact, if I go in here a little bit, I don't know what they're going to do. Hello. Hello, Indy. Say, say hi to the camera. Say hi to the camera. Hi. 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 Uh-oh. <laughs> they don't bite. Indy. Indy. Hi, Indy. Moosh. Moosh, hi, Moosh. Oh, they're tired. Yeah, Indy. 
And then, here. Here, can I? Aw, oh, there you go. Here. Perfect. Ah, oh, they're calming down. Most I've had the ability to do in a while. Really, really cool. Look at that. Oh, look at that. You're doing great. Ah, oh, it's perfect. In the eye. Cool, cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Indy, come, Indy, come. Ah, uh, okay, probably, probably another time, maybe. Maybe. Oh, nah, I just sat back down. Okay. Well, that's about it then. The smaller ones are definitely like easier and some way to take care of. Oh yeah, they have like, this outside balcony area here. They love. There's some um, neighbors that were smoking marijuana that they uh, I told them about and uh, they're like, yeah, it's their neighbor, can't do much about them. So um, they weren't a fan of that so much. His wife is actually pregnant, so uh, they have to be careful with that. Um, shouldn't be breathing anything in like that. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, you gotta be careful, like almost like a specific big place away from people anywhere around when you're pregnant. So, uh, you should not be having anything around that stuff with your child. I know I would not if I had that going on. Uh, anyways, the bed was like, he's got springs in it, not the best for your bed, right? Both can like, yeah, she's more like uh, having issues in general, but uh, definitely not the best in my back either. This is softer here, surprisingly. So, <laughs> I don't even know if I was sleeping down here there's just a projector here by the way no tv so you can take this projector and uh apparently it goes onto the wall i don't know how it does that in the corner there but yeah anyways i think uh that's about it probably probably they just uh just take care of their pets we can go out for some hours if we want uh it's kept with the windows apparently if you open these windows they can jump out into the street so be careful and same with like this one uh, when we go we gotta close that so yeah, it's pretty quiet for it being an avenue there too with a lot of cars going through there and everything. So we're going to head out and show you the markets here. And uh, I'll take you, I guess I'll go from there. That should be by everything. There's no dryer as usual or air conditioning places. Don't like that. It's not dusty here. This thing with us surprising. It's really cool. Okay. Um, house tour over relatively, I guess. So, and uh, yeah, I was actually just thinking to myself out there a little bit ago. I was like, I feel like some of my videos are definitely going to be taken off of YouTube, like, just, like, the way things are, the way people are, and the way YouTube is, like, censoring really important things uh, from other people, like, uh, all kinds of victims of bad stuff, and I saw more recently about that happening, so, if that happens, I'll have to end up making my own platform in the future if possible, and hopefully being able to have, like, some place for people to be on properly, because that'd be ideal. But uh, we'll see how everything goes. See you soon. All right, some more issues, but uh, we're out here now. And uh, Indy's like the, the black one there wanted to really, uh, almost, it almost bit my hand. And then I tried, tried to start jumping at me to bite me. Never happened before, just today. So uh, there are a lot of issues. Hopefully that gets better. Anyways, here's where I'm at, it's very busy, lots of cars going through. I'm gonna head down this uh, other way over here and uh, go see what's, okay, yeah, yeah, down that way. We'll go see what's down there. So, just kind of uh, gonna show you from there. Just uh, hopefully that dog goes uh, a little bit better because that's not fun at all. <laughs> Trying to bite both of us almost, but more so me, I felt like. Bit your chin almost earlier as well, like freak dude. Yeah. Ugh. Anyways, there's always gonna be some issues passing, so at least do we have a place to stay? <laughs> to show you what I'm talking about, to document this, take a look behind me. Like, it is crazy, absurd. People can have dryers instead. So they do that, and you know how much dust and bacteria and get crap gets all over it, and it's not nearly as clean at all. People will never change when they're poor mentally. It's absurd. Like all over, this is the UK, first world country. I was thinking about this. It's not first world country, both of us were thinking about this. Because we were talking about this with the owners last night, remember? That they don't have a Walmart type store at all. And he loved it and that was cool when he went there to the US because Walmart has everything. But they don't have that here, so it's not convenient at all. So what that tells me is if you don't have a Walmart type store to have convenience and have everything like that everywhere, your country's not first world. Like. You should have these basic things and have good buildings, tall buildings, like 
things look rich. Otherwise, it's not first world. It's second world. This is a more advanced version of a second world because you take a look and think about that and you go to Poland, for example. It is a second world country and it's not super good. It is, it is like decent in a lot of ways, but has a lot of issues in some ways, you know? Their selection of food and stuff, for example, here is more. But I think there's most more food poisoning in some ways here in Poland, depending on what you're eating. And it's crazy. And their buildings are not the same either. So that means this is maybe a little more upgraded, in some ways, second world country. But the only first world country I've actually ever seen so far is the United States. That's absurd. Like, truly absurd. And that's coming from someone that does not like the United States in a lot of ways because they are so controlling and have so many issues there and people are quite problematic there as well. However, from what I saw, and not all parts, but just quite a few parts, it's the only true first world areas I've seen. Like, in a city with 25,000 people, you have a Walmart having more than a city like this in Bristol, you can find one store, with 300,000 people or more even different cities. It's absurd. And South America is just updated so much in a lot of different ways because it's by the US and Canada and Mexico as well, for example, are gonna take advantage of that and have more things in general. So yes, it's a second world country here essentially and not in all ways, but in too many ways, which really makes me classify and put it down into that category. And that's gonna upset a lot of people probably. However, that's my experience so far staying here, especially with, with the way people act and everything and not, not, not hygienic in a lot of ways. Like I think I like to go to the Middle East and see which areas are more updated and which areas are not and also evaluate these, these places because I'm gonna critique and say the way it is. It's not updated and people need to see exactly how that is. It's not the worst, like it's livable here in a lot of ways, but it's just not super, super updated, you get what I'm saying? And definitely nowhere near a zeroth world country. In the United States, some areas are getting closer to being a zeroth world country, you know, wireless electricity, easily transporting yourself across the world if you need to, and just having pure electric power easily, self-driving vehicles, all kinds of stuff, flying taxis, driving themselves, and uh, planes flying themselves, everything, helicopters, all that, flying themselves. It's more towards the zeroth world country. We're working towards that. It's like the main country I saw doing that, so... Uh, we got a long ways to go with this world. But uh, surprisingly, it looks like the US is winning uh, for now. And it kind of makes me sad. It really does. Yes. There's a guy in the mirror. <laughs> Probably. I told you this is English Brazil here, right? Like people like really act like Brazilians here. In a lot of it's crazy. Yeah, they do. Just start thinking, like, walking because let's go. Privacy, you know how countries are. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh head up. probably trying to hear us speak. Yeah, what I'm saying is gonna piss a lot of people off, so ah uh, it's just how people are up. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I know I'm going to piss off so many people. Ugh, I don't care. It's it's what I'm going to have to speak and say because it's reality. So I will see you at the store here. There are some nice cars around. Definitely more wealth. More first world country in, in that regard, definitely. But in a lot of important ways, no, unfortunately not. However, if you work hard, you'll have it. Hey, people in the US work, work, work their asses off. That's why they have so many things. You know how hard I worked when I was there as well and saw people. Just uh, what happens. You have a culture built on work and then you are going to have a lot based on that providing you're working smartly. So that's all. I'll see you in the market. I'm in the front store here and uh, this looks interesting so far. I'm gonna go take a look inside and see what they got here. Looks better. Looks more first world. I got out of the store, we ended up buying a couple of things like a brush, like one pound for a hairbrush. We saw the cheapest one they had and said two or three or more pounds, and it was cool. And a lot of different selection. They had like peanut butter for birds and other stuff, like with mealworm. Absurd things that are just weird, but they didn't have a lot of stuff they normally would like in a better store, like Walmart, for example. So, as I said, so far I still have not seen that. Like the guy who's been living here, who's uh, like both of these people are with now. And this place best sitting for them are foreigners. So one was from France and uh, she's from France and he's from New Zealand. So uh, let's go, we'll go down the other way, over this way, here. 
and essentially they're going to have a different perspective of the United Kingdom and our countries as a result of that instead of people you know, being born here and such. So yeah, it's, it's quite interesting uh, seeing the way they speak about things and, and how they affect them. Um, I'm going to go to the next door now. Uh, it, was, it was interesting that story we just went in, definitely. Nothing like, oh, it's amazing. Like, it's some cool stuff, definitely. And I'd say it's closer to First World Store, just not the kind of super store I'm used to. So. Um, we will go ahead and pick up in the next store here. I think we're going to like a, not Sainsbury's, I'll be after, we're going to one that was for like a bunch of foreign stuff. We're going to see what that's like, so. If you take a look right here, I don't know if you can see that. So right down over that way there. Um, it was on this part, exactly right here. Things are out and open here, apparently just flies are going on there and laying eggs looks like yeah that's uh, that's in Sainsbury here I'm in Sainsbury so um, that's not cool at all there's uh, several different cool things here but yeah, that aspect was not ideal in the slightest so I'm actually quite shocked I saw that that is like nothing covering protecting it even the co-op I went to here it was smart didn't do that like there's, I saw in you know, the last place we were passing, there was a fly that go and lay maggots all over, a bunch of maggots as I've seen in the cat's food after a few hours. There's probably eggs being laid in that. Maggots. That's cool. Yikes. That is like not cool. Alright, I have uh, gone into the Sainsbury. There was some people coughing and sick in there. Like, someone brought a sick baby, I think, choking a bunch. So, if we even get infected, we tried to go around as much as possible. There's a camera I think up there have fun anyways we saw how much they were overcharging if you didn't have like their special card like stuff that'd be for like uh, 19 pounds being brought to 13 pounds and just like for toothbrush heads for replaceable for electric toothbrush and it's ridiculous and charging you again 30 cents for bags like oh they help the environment and then you have corporations like, having so much plastic not caring at all still and they're okay with that for some reason but to charge you more money for sex is fine they're trying to bring this crap into the united states and it's pissing me off a lot because they're already doing it in certain states this is a european issue that is like not cool with me at all now during checkout like you can't put pull stuff off the, the scale sensor you have to keep it all on there so i had to put shoes carefully with other crap we bought and uh go ahead and just like keep everything there until we're done purchasing then we can take it off our way as an alarm so if you're buying too much stuff you can have like hell with that and try to stack it carefully so it's not like in the US we can just kind of take that and pull stuff off and go like I used to buy carts of stuff now beyond that I went through and traveled Brazil two years and I never had this happen but here the one was like yeah I gotta check the back of your credit card to see if the your signature is fine. I saw the signatures didn't even match basically from what I wrote on my card and on paper because I'm just like, I don't give a freak when I write. And like my signature changes often almost. And like, I never had to do that in South America ever, but here in the UK, barely shopping, I'm having to like, show my credit card to cover my numbers. Like it's so much awkward experience. I don't think that's normal. Like you can see how much of a dictatorship things are here a bunch with this. It's. I hope people can see what I'm saying. I, for people who are used to these types of issues, they're gonna look at me and say, what's my problem? But people who are not used to this are gonna say, yeah, that's weird, it's not proper. So think about this and the way you're gonna perceive it based on what you've been around and, and such. So am I forgetting something? Oh yeah, I, I didn't tell anyone about the thing with the fly because if people are leaving stuff open here to begin with in this major store like this, to have flies lay eggs and larvae on it, no one's gonna do anything about it to begin with to go fix that issue. Like, you think someone's gonna magically wanna go fix it if they already had it like that to begin with? I'm sure someone probably put two brain cells together and probably thought about that at some point and they just don't give a damn, they don't care at all. So, that's about it for now here. Um, it's just a lot of, like, I feel like issues here in a lot of ways, definitely. And uh, I'm be happy to be in like a better country. As crazy as it sounds, the US is definitely gonna be better. The problem is there's so much control there, there's issues as well in a lot of ways, but, if life is updated more, you know, it's better. I, you can have everything around you like we are talking about and still feel like a piece of trash if people are treating you bad. But in, you, know, you can be in a poorer country and people can be really nice and helpful to each other and you'll feel somehow more complete and full inside and less depressed, even with less things around you. And this is really something important we don't have in society today. <sighs> it's rough. It's truly rough. Anyways, um, 
there's not much for me to say just like also constant like issues in these countries and such with like morality there's no morality left at all and just like the way people act treat people the way people dress the way people are like more than ever here people are so freaking like slutty here they are showing their asses off completely so much like in this tightest shorts and I know people do that in the US too and it's like I think Canada as well it's absurd that people are doing this because I saw this like less in Brazil than I have in the UK right less in Brazil than than here that's what I'm talking about in fact I, and how people let's say Brazilians are slutty and treat them bad for it and then go and do this here it's like the Brazilian UK I, I, the UK is a Brazilian English sorry I almost feel like we start a bit this shit all the oh, Brazilians are slutty do not date them or oh they're slutty I believe it I feel like it was the first whole country females had uh -huh. their husband be stolen because Brazilians mm -hmm. are Latin more attractive are more attractive mm -hmm. and less toxic and less toxic in a lot of ways as well and uh, they got jealous and started saying that I'm pretty sure so there's a lot of lies and misinformation going on about that because you can clearly see there's probably jealousy causing these issues and I do know Brazilians go out and steal husbands a lot <laughs> famous why? Why? why think about it why why is it happening why? maybe why? their wives their wives are not good in first world country I saw this in first world country like the way wives are treating or like girlfriends are out trying to treating like I saw like even the marketing, the faces of the women, like uh, whether it's real or artistically drawn, it looks like it has this feminist look to it. Where it's just like it looks like they're gonna frick you. They're not there, they're not loyal, they're not gonna stay with you, they're not gonna help build a life with you. They're just gonna frick you, and uh, it's so toxic. You cannot. Basically. Like. Exactly, all the time. And feminism is toxic and a disease in a lot of ways. And what people are actually looking at and what we should be having is egalitarianism. Look it up. Feminism is just to support women over men. If you actually look at what's happening in society, it's like masculinism, right? Let's say if we have that, it sounds wrong. Feminism sounds wrong. Egalitarianism sounds more correct. It's like ego. Terry, for some reason, ego is like the, the bird of... What? Randomly? Bro, I was talking about bird. Crow, okay. But ego is like a sign of freedom, so why it's a flag. Or like, like in the US, like ego is bird used for that. So, egalitarianism, it makes sense. I don't know where it started, but it's how it is. And that's crazy. It was a coincidence. Anyways, um, that's about it for now. I've talked long enough. We're going to head on to our next door and see how things are. Just so shocked. I had to like show my card like in the back. Like, and if she didn't like it, then what? And she was staring at us too, walking out because we were speaking something. Because yeah, you, yeah, so. you were like saying like, "Oh wow, that's crazy here." Like, uh, people are toxic here. It's like the south of Brazil, every freaking where here. I prefer the Midwest of Brazil way more. They have their own issues, uh, definitely in a lot of ways, and are toxic in their own ways. But if like it was more livable in some ways. Okay, we'll see you the next store coming up here because this closes at 8 o'clock and you're in like some minutes and the other stores are 10, 11 p.m. So it's a really nice day out, really beautiful still. I'm gonna go enjoy it here and uh, <laughs> okay, I'll see you in a little bit. I ended up going back to the house and they got rid of all this stuff put there throughout again. Here's the idea. So again, there's like some places here that have like first world stores more like better. I don't know what's inside here. I'm going to take a look around here before it closes, but uh, I just saw as well if you have. I well, there's a new word called fly tipping, where I guess if you have other people collect your trash instead of the licensed people here, you can be charged up to like uh, 50,000 pounds or five years imprisonment. And like, I, I was talking to the owners the last place as well for pestering, and they were saying how, it, yeah, they way overcharge you basically illegally for electricity here. A sink can spend 700 pounds a month easily on electricity. They had solar panels too. Uh, a lot of illegal stuff happening here, I feel like, like not cool at all. But uh, you can look behind me here as well and uh, just kind of get a good look for the area and kind of see how things are. Earlier, I was trying to record as well, and there was a guard like uh, in the mall looking at me after a few seconds of recording, so to be careful. And uh, people in first world countries are more problematic than 
third world in a lot of ways. At least in South America. I know in Asia it can be more of an issue. So I was wondering because they have those signs like, oh, don't don't do that. Uh, it's being recorded. Gonna like. Yeah. I wonder if it's the government. Like, I have no idea. people. People are not doing that, Justin. Have you thought about that? Yeah, I thought about that. I thought about that. Like, is it that, like, the government, like, watching your house? I don't know. I don't know how things are set up here. I just know there's, like, a lot of stuff that's, like, creeping me out. I'm not a fan of. So, there's... If this is classified as a first world country at all, I would classify it as a very low tier first world country based on what I've seen here. And no, it's going to piss a lot of people off. I don't give a damn. Is says a lot of room for improvement here. Another thing I would like to say is that when we were in the train station, there is uh, those things like, I don't know how you call it, tro trolley, uh, where you put your baggage. Yeah, to help you. inside the train there. Uh, yeah, and uh, in Brazil. The racks, baggage like, racks. For free, and maybe if you choose someone, we like running, get it for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here's yeah. like airplanes, you do everything yourself, hurt yourself. No, so you that's not even the worst. You have to have one pound or, or a coin to put it to be able to to unlock to oh like for like transporting an actual thing back moving back yeah yeah yeah, yeah I gotta pay I for it to it's really like freaked up with i think you too you can look at that yeah too much capitalism making you pay for everything having issues and uh, it's it's uh not fun when you're always being controlled or everywhere having so many issues so we're gonna go inside, see how the story is, and uh, go from there. If there's music playing, I'm not gonna record much. As about everything for now, I just, this government's got too much control, and uh, yeah, they still I affect other search. countries as well. Too much. Yeah, yeah what well, you search. I'm gonna have to restart a MacBook again because it looks like it keeps being it's like viruses implanted into it, and I really feel like there's something suspicious going on here. Some type of group, like people that could be like freaking us constantly with this crap because uh, every time we reset the computer randomly it's okay I'm not going on suspicious websites or doing things I know my way around the internet things are suspicious and every time I've seen life and things seem suspicious and there's like a red flag just because it kind of is so I ended up going back home and uh, I kind of showed you a little clip of how that was open again, the market there. Didn't see flies, but still completely open. Well, it's not as much as the other, but still, insects can go right in there. Had to be careful, there was a guard right behind me during that last recording, and uh, it's like, I could probably like, show, do anything, just know how these people are already. And I feel like walking to a different country, maybe poorer country, is weird how that was. They had different selection of stuff, a couple things, but I felt like it was poorer and a little bit cheaper than Sainsbury. And uh, LIDL was very, just like full of a lot more poor people, <laughs> definitely. And do like, you have anything to describe the experience as? LIDL? Yeah. Uh, I think it's always messy. <laughs> messy, yeah. Uh... LIDL. But the uh, manager came up and my credit card probably didn't go through because they didn't authorize it. So to pay again. And he said no, it didn't go through because uh, they had to say yes after the signature and everything. So hopefully I didn't get charged two times for that. Hopefully uh, it all goes through. I'm quite tired after all that walking. The Iceland store was closed. We're going to go to that tomorrow. I guess in me, got a few things here to eat. Not exactly healthy, but uh, some different stuff here. <laughs> I want to try a couple different things. I realized I left some of this stuff here, I believe, like in the last place. Some, this, they're called hoops, not spaghettios. Beef ravioli. And like, uh, they were taking stuff in the last place and hiding in us, I think. But I got my, my parchment paper back for cooking and stuff. Like, I found uh, a cheap one. This was like 20 something cents. And this was like 120. So I compared the ingredients. And they are a little different. I'm gonna see which one tastes better. And I found like a pumpkin pie thing here as well. So the crisp, really, really good quality here. Looks like I was looking at the ingredients. I'm absolutely in love with that. These look quite good. Gotta get some meat for that, that'll be quite nice. And uh, this jerky looked interesting, about two pounds there, so. Other than that, some spices, uh, kind of more so looked at the stores than anything, but I think it'll be quite nice to go. The ice looks like it'll be a better store to get some like vegetables. We're gonna go do all the frozen cold shopping there uh, at one place, so I think that'd be a good store for that, hopefully. So, ooh, giant bag here, uh, fell. I think he said this didn't happen with other owners before, so I don't know if he means that in a nice way or kind of like blaming us in a way, like why is it happening to you and other owners? So 
that's gonna be fun um anyways yeah i'm gonna see you at the store tomorrow again for ice one probably just like cut that part and uh figure things out here and everything uh, so uh walking just exhausting like having a car is way better way nicer it's the next day i'm actually gonna talk to you about something real quick before i got to the store I saw, it was a couple of things, I can't remember all of them, but I remember one of them from earlier, and it was about Japan moving the age of consent from 13 to 16, and it's basically like very small areas of tribes, I think, can be 13, like the whole country is already 18, I believe, if I recall. And Americans were saying that, oh, that's horrible, it's still horrible, there's no way uh, it should be allowed like that, and uh, it's still horrible, 16, it's not acceptable, it has to be 18, anything under 18 is not acceptable. Excuse me, mate. That's not your country. That's Japan. Um, you stay in the United States and you let Japan do what they're gonna do and you let these other countries go do what they're gonna do as well. Because the people there are going to live based on the way they live, right? It's, it's ridiculous. This doesn't affect quality of life, like not having proper food and water, it's like not poisoning you. This is just the way they do things more so there and uh, more understandable by far. It's absurd. I saw not just the US government going places and trying to control the world, because I've talked to various people and they all agree with me, even the UK and other parts. The United States has a big issue going over and trying to be a dictatorship by these countries. They have bases everywhere, it's horrible, like this shouldn't be happening. I'm now seeing as well that too many American citizens are also kind of like that and want to try to control the world. Like, just keep your nose out of other countries' business and if it's not harming them or causing issues, like, okay, by 16, well, damn, you can drive by yourself in the United States. You can drive by yourself and operate a huge piece of machinery that can kill a bunch of people driving into them, but you're not old enough to know what you're doing in a relationship or going out and having something with someone. I, excuse me, I just haven't understood this. Like, Americans are so weird. I'm American, and you're American watching this most likely. I just don't understand what the problem is. Can you help me understand why things are this way? Like, do you have anything to say about this as well? I do not understand. I'm not American, so I don't feel like I should be speaking much because I'm not from that country. It doesn't matter where you're from. You speak what you're going to speak. It's the world. Uh, I just don't agree with these things much. I don't have much to say. I just, I just think things are dumbass, don't make sense. <laughs> and just like, as you can even speak with an AI or anything that has any, like, it's not even about morality or anything about that, but it's about like, uh, you know, using logic. Yeah, yeah, logic. Like, it, it just horrible, because I saw people who are 17, 18, dating or doing something, and uh, one of them goes to prison, usually the guy. And it was in California, you know, these things are horrible. <clears throat> you, you look at, at history, quite up until last 100 years, more like uh, 60, 70, 80 years. And people would be 14 to 16 going off and getting married with a lot of people all the time who were most of the time late teens or even in their 20s. Guys were often in their 20s because they would go out and they'd go build a house or get something set up financially. Take a girl who's like 14 to 16, if not even 12, like throughout history back in biblical times, 12, 14, 16. Like people are more soft today and really different with technology. So because of that, they stick kids in the head. And you can see people who are 20 something years old act like kids more than a lot of people who are 12 years old and 14 years old in these several countries where they do have more suffering. I went through a lot of suffering in my life and by 14 I was already a complete mature adult essentially the way I am today. And at that time I'd look around and feel weird talking to people my age a lot because I was like I felt like they were like mentally disturbed and brain damaged for me when I was speaking with them when I was 14. and had a lot of issues with that talking online to people because of that and this obviously hasn't changed so much, but like people do mature somewhat more as they're getting older because it takes maybe to our 30s, 40s maybe, with all this technology from the action or stuff going on, maybe still not nearly enough because they're always softened by technology. This has been what I've seen, but when it comes down to these things, just Americans keep your nose out of countries' businesses when they're trying to like do things the way they do like you talk so much about culture and how important culture is i see americans always speaking about that okay that's their culture leave them alone most of europe has the age of consent 14 to 16 and a few countries are 17 and 18. most of the u.s is 16 17 or 18. the majority of the u.s is 16 17 and not 18. 
I bet you know, didn't know that as well. Like, it's crazy that our own country has 16, 17, the majority of the ages of the states for Asian consent. But most people are still like saying, like, or maybe, maybe just the loudest people, potentially, who are like, oh, 18, or you're like going to hell, essentially. Like, I don't understand this. Like, it's absurd. And then you have people, just because you're trying to speak about these things logically, like they say, oh, you're a pedophile for speaking this way. Like, piss off, mate. Oh, as if that makes me want to go out and do something with a child because I'm speaking about you shouldn't be having these issues if you're in a country where, like, 16 is the age. Like, piss out of here, dude. Come on. It's absurd. There's just a huge issue with Americans and the government bullying other countries, trying to enforce their will on them, it's not okay. And I imagine we get a good amount of backlash always as usual for things, which just pisses me off and I'm not okay with this and I don't think this should be something we're doing to other countries. As you can see, I, I wish I could document other people more. So you talk to the other people, right? And the American government has done so many bad things to other countries, trying to force things on them all the time. Like, so much. It, it's absurd. Like, it's disgusting in a lot of ways. Like, that's about all I'm going to say for now, but just, it's rough. I've also been seeing, looks like corporations are going back now on LGBTQIA and, like, trans and all that and, and uh, pulling back because it's like Bud Light was reducing a 26% sale this year. Like, people are freaking out. I think because finally our children were getting attacked a lot more in the school systems and everywhere. These companies are targeting children for all this stuff and trying to change them. Now companies are pulling back. I saw huge amounts because they're suffering massive loss. 26% reduce in reduction sales in the US for Bud Light. That's absurd. Now I see companies all pulling back and it looks like we're going back to some more times in 2010 for comments online. But it's kind of nice in a way because like, Yes, you can go help people and support people having freedom, but when they're shoving it down your throat, that's not okay. I don't want that. If I have kids, I want them to be you know, protected and grow up normally and, and uh, be able to make their own decisions and have you know, their ability to have a proper normal childhood. And by the time they're 14 or so, they have a lot more ability to go do things and think for themselves and understand if you actually like, raise them, mature them properly, not just made them soft and full of technology constantly. Like, the world doesn't wait for you to mature. It'll take you just as you are and completely kill you and destroy you. So it's important that you do mature by a relatively younger age and you are ready for what there is out there. So like, people commit suicide so much at a younger age even. like People are not educated enough about these things. After you travel the world a lot and you see a lot about how things are and you don't spend a lot of money, like, you actually go through the world not just like spending hundreds of dollars or pounds per day. You start to understand and see how things are when you're traveling. It's just annoying how like people in the U.S. are with this. Like really, like I know not all people are like this. There's a good amount of good people there. Just there are a lot of loud, toxic people, and we need to keep these things away. I want people to really just understand why I'm saying what I'm saying. Why things should be the way I'm speaking, at least in some form. Not like everything I say is always going to be perfectly correct or right, but I try to apply logic where possible. And you should not be just treating people like this and trying to enforce your will all the time. So, that's about everything for me. The dogs are having fun here a lot. So, um, I will now indeed see you at the store here in just a little bit going out. Uh, it's a Saturday, so uh, it's going to be fun. i got to get my computer fixed still. Hopefully, uh, find some place to do this here. Or more so, just like, I want to make sure I can order like, the, the right monitor piece. So, yeah, that'll be fun. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you thought as well. I'm going to continue the video a bit longer, even though it's long. I just want to show you how things are kind of outside probably. And, uh, yeah, I'll go from there. Actually, I don't even know. Should I end the video? <laughs> I should probably almost end the video. It's like so long. It's been like 40 minutes. I might actually end it here. Yeah, you know, I'm going to end it here. I'm going to take you out in the next one. So, um, again, let me know what you thought in the comments. And uh, anyone who disagrees with you, feel free to have like a proper civilized discussion because that's what's important. If you don't have a civilized discussion, what do you have? Like, you're just a bunch of animals fighting. You know, you're no, no better than anyone else you're pointing at. So, um, I appreciate that. And, uh, Eh, I guess uh, hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully you're doing well, and uh, I will see you in the next one coming up here when I'm going out, so take care until then.